my favorite things about Instagram is being able to answer questions directly through my direct messages. Now, some of these conversations are great and there's so much great information shared, but only the person who's asking the question sees my responses. So I thought I would do a fun little feature. Um, all frequently asked questions that I get in my direct messages, but answered here. Now it is October, it's the best month of the year here in North Texas for planting perennials. So I've been getting a ton of questions about perennials and recommendations for what to plant where. So I thought I would go through and share some of my personal favorite perennials by specific locations or specific needs. And hopefully this can get you inspired for shopping and adding new perennials to your garden this year. And please let me know if this is something that you enjoy and you wanna see more of, or be sure to leave a question that you would like me to see me answer here in this format below. If I had to have only one perennial in my garden, it would be Mexican bush sage. And that's even factoring in that it only blooms in the fall. So you have to be patient with this plant. A lot of times people plant it in the spring, expect something to happen in spring and summer, summer and get frustrated and really Mexican bush sage is just waiting for it now. It's waiting for early October to put on an amazing show. It's a full sun plant. It grows to about three to four feet tall. Pollinators love it. Plant it in mass. Don't just plant one. You're going to regret it. You're going to want at least three different plants. It's beautiful. It's beautiful in the garden. It's easy to take care of. And um, it comes back every year. If you're looking for a gorgeous, an unusual plant, a real showstopper for your shade garden, I am obsessed with Farfugium giganteum. This is an incredible plant that I'm actually growing here in this photograph. I'm growing it on my front porch in a container. And this plant here on my front porch gets morning sun and afternoon shade. It gets a little unhappy in the hottest parts of the summer, but for the most part of the year, it loves that situation. So full shade or morning sun and afternoon shade. It likes soils to be relatively moist, but usually that's not a problem in shady areas. The other thing too is it has beautiful yellow blooms it, and it'll bloom multiple times throughout the year. So this is definitely something to consider adding to your garden. Again, this also looks best when you are planting more than just one, although over time this plant will spread and fill out the area nicely. Lantana New Gold is perfect for any for brutal areas, for areas where you can't get anything else to grow or maybe areas that are not irrigated. Uh, Lantana actually does better the worse the conditions are. So if you have a full sun space that gets baked during the day um, and even better, a place that's kind of got rocky soil, this plant is going to be super happy. It's blooming like crazy right now and it creates this amazing yellow mass. So it's great for big open spaces. It doesn't compete very well with other plants I've noticed. So sometimes it can be a little aggressive or unhappy in a perennial garden with other plants. With that said, we have it this year and that bright yellow color really helps Helps other plants to pop. So make sure that this plant gets plenty of sun, not too much water, no fertilizer as necessary, and put it in the area that you can't get anything else to grow. For your shade garden, if you're looking for something that is both colorful and flowers, I love Euchara. It is a really unusual, beautiful plant that most people don't know about, surprisingly, although there are so many beautiful varieties available on the market in tons of different colors. Again, this is another plant that really benefits from being planted in mass. So be sure if you buy it, don't just buy one. Make sure that you're buying a lot. And the other reason is too, is this is a pretty slow grower. So it's gonna take several years for it to fill out in the garden. So your best bet is to make sure that you're planting a lot of them in a big grouping in the area for the maximum impact from far away in your shade garden. So Euchara, this is something I highly recommend that you check out this year and plant this month if you have a shade garden. If you're looking for a taller plant that still flowers or maybe even a, you need to replace some shrubs in a full sun area, something that's extremely low maintenance, you can't go wrong with Texas sage. This is absolutely one of my favorite perennial shrubs for full sun areas. It's extremely tough. And the best part about it, it has the most beautiful pink blooms. This plant looks better also planted in mass as most perennials do, although you can plant just a few of them if you have a space that you need to fill in. But this is Texas sage. Another tip about growing this is 
they look best and they perform best when they're not pruned. I think one of the biggest mistakes that I see in landscaping is planting Texas sage and then pruning it and trying to shape it. You really wanna be able to let Texas sage do its thing. So when you're planting, make sure that you understand the full spread of this plant, which is about five feet wide, and make sure that you're planting each plant with five feet of space between each one. If you're looking for a perennial vine that does really well in part sun, part shade areas, I love crossvine. This photograph is actually taken from my parents' yard. This is a beautiful crossvine that's been there at least four or five years now at this point. It is just gorgeous. It blooms several times throughout the year. Now, there are a lot of misconceptions about crossvine, and that is because a lot of people confuse it with invasive trumpet vine that's very hard to eradicate and can quickly dominate certain areas. Crossvine is actually native to East Texas, and it is a non-invasive species. So if you're looking for something to go over a fence, crossvine is your best bet. Give it a few years to reach its max maximum impact like you see here.